Hey guys, Daniel here from the Gig Rig, and today we're checking out G2 Stump Box Mode. Okay, so what we want to be able to do is add effects in on the fly, like you would with the Stump Box, and it's really simple to do. Let's say we want to add a delay in. Okay, let's just go to a preset, and we're going to use loop 9, which is my Analog Man Delay. really gorgeous lush sound and delay. I want to be able to add that on top of any other preset. Okay, so all I do is now that I've chosen that delay, I hit stomp box mode right here. Okay, and you'll see the little yellow light come on next to the preset that I've chosen to be in stomp box delay. Any presets that have this little yellow light means that that preset is set up in stomp box mode. Okay, so now if I go back to an overdrive sound. <laughs> mode, it adds the delay on top. Okay, back to the preset, gets rid of it. So I can go to a clean sound now, and just add my delay on top of the clean sound. Okay, I'll just set up a compressor here in Stompbox mode, hit the compressor. So you see what happens if I go to my clean sound and I click on delay, click on compressor. So I can build up the sounds, but if I go back to a preset, it clears the stop box modes off. Another great thing about G2 stomp box mode, not only can you add in uh, effects on top of presets, but you can also take those effects away from presets, okay? So, let's say I go to a preset, I've got my King of Tone, I've got my um, Analog Man Bino Booster into the ADRX20, okay? So it's a very big heavy sound with lots of delay. So lots of delay there, it sounds fantastic. But, if I want to take that delay out of that preset, again, I press on the delay that's in stompbox mode, and when I take it out, it pulls the delay out of that preset. Okay, so once again, there's the preset there. I've got treble booster, into king of tone, into the delay. takes the delay out of that preset. Okay, so go back to another clean sound, add my delay in. Compressor as well. Rock sound. Add my delay. Okay, go to a preset which is the treble booster and the delay. But I want to take that delay out, so I just get that heavy rock sound without the delay. Back to my clean tone. So what Stompbox does, it means the presets are not set in stone. You can change things on the fly as you go. At the gig we understand creative musicians and the need to be flexible as you play. You need to be able to add things and take things away. So that's what Stompbox Mode and G2 is all about.